All right. On the last episode of Dragon Quest XI, the harp works and the salty stallion descends safely to the ocean floor. Once there, the party are granted an audience with the king, Martina, and inform her of Michelle's unfortunate fate. As a mark of gratitude for having her gone to such great lengths to have one of her subjects, she presents him with the green orb as a reward. Their goal in mind and their achieved, the friends settle to Nautica to seek out the remaining orbs with the queen's parting words still ringing in their ear. All road lead from the tree of life and to the tree return. So if I remember correctly, we did find out the Nelix location to go to. It's actually like the snow place. So we definitely have to see about going back to there. Hold ZR while temporary. Oh, you get to hide the UI. That's actually kind of cool. Like I, I do enjoy the photo thing, but I just never really like really use it. My prayers have been answered. You join us once again, Metallic. May the force of benevolence continue to watch over you. All right, so we got to head to Nautica for the next orb. With any luck, and considering the pacing of this game, we might be able to, we might be able to reach them all. I don't think I, I remember like getting to there, but can we actually, we can fast travel. Oh, we can already fast travel to Nautica. Let's go. Because I said it was Nautica. No, because Nautica is where we actually went to, like, wasn't that like the location where we actually went to get the orb? So I think we just need to get back on the open sea. Let's do that really quick. Because, like, I remember it was one of those, like, locations or something like that. Which is something we gotta look for. Yo, Tyler, welcome to the stream, dude. It's great to see you. Hope you are doing well, man. What has been going on, dude? Have you, uh, have you been getting some sleep? Is sleep something you've been working on? Because I know we talked about that. Uh, ooh, there's actually a shiny thing down there, too. But we can kind of avoid that for now. You got some... Dude, I'm super happy. It's super hyped to hear about the sleep, dude. That's awesome, man. But aside from that, uh, how are you doing, man? Any new games you've been playing then, dude? Then I woke up at 4 a Dude, I feel that. Uh, any reason why you woke up? Oh, you had to go to work. Oof. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully you can be able to get some continuous, like, at least, like, 7 to 8 hours soon, my dude. But I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully work that day wasn't too bad. But uh, aside from that, what have you been doing? I think I yelled at foot. Jeez, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully, hopefully things get a little bit better for you, my dude. Hopefully things start getting a little bit better. The sleep would definitely be awesome, but you never know, man. Um, I think I'm going to start off by going to the Strand. And then we should be able to like kind of like get there quicker. Then Crush playing God of War 3. Ooh, uh, what version were you playing? Were you playing the PS2, PS3, or the PS4 remaster? Which one, dude? Because, I mean, I do have the God of War for the PS3, uh, 3 and 4 if I really wanted to, so... But I, I'd imagine, like, the PS4 one's got to look really crisp. Oh, the original PS3 edition. Interesting. Like, is there really much visual difference? Like, I, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so the nautical chart, I got to go, I believe... Let's see, because... Because, let's see. So, let's go back to the map. I remember... I don't need to zoom. Oh, we can actually just zoom from here. That's interesting. Because I remember it was like, I'm trying to remember. So, okay, I think I remember. I think we actually had to go forward and then just take a right. Because I remember, like I found it by mistake the first time. But hopefully you're enjoying it, dude. Did you already like complete it or were you just like going a little bit through it of itself? Uh, let's go with the War Griffin. Not for the visuals, but I have the first two games down on my PS3, so I can uh, put them back to back. Dude, awesome, man. Um, I do actually have, like, the majority of the P uh, God of War games for the PS3 because they have a bunch of collections for them. The one thing I... I don't think I have the PSP ones, though, but I'm not sure those are actually worth picking up, you know? Yo, Saiyan Teacher, dude. Welcome to the stream, man. It's great to see you. Hope you are doing well, dude. A brutal black kicking flip. Okay, the flying one. Yes, is what we want to do. Just came to say hi. Dude, I greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. Hope all is well. Hopefully your day and weekend are going well, dude. Actually, no, it's my weekend. Your weekend probably doesn't start until the weekend itself. Uh, let's see. So with Rab. Awesome streaming tonight, apparently. Dude, awesome. Glad to hear that. What game are you going to be streaming, man? Hope you're doing great, too. Um, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. <laughs> um, getting better, but, you know, it's like one of those things, like, you know, each day getting a little bit better. It's always really good. I'm not prepared. I mean, if you're not prepared, I mean, you can always, you definitely have some time to be able to prepare for it, though, don't you? Are you streaming with somebody else, or what? What happened to your voice? Is my Does my voice actually sound, like, wrong or incorrect? 
actually. Oh, I see. <laughs> dude, that's hilarious, but... For a second I thought, like, something was actually going on, because I seen another streamer who was actually having issues with that, but... Yeah, I can easily talk like Joe Swanson for about two minutes. I'm streaming because I've got a Rodden's Raid myself. Oh, that's fantastic, Tyler. Having a raid from Ramen is just such a... It's such a great opportunity, man, because you know how Ramen really is? He's such a great streamer. For those who don't know, Ramen242 is definitely one of the best streamers on Twitch. Super wholesome, super community. Hey, it's A Jamal. Glad to see you. Of course, this isn't Duel Links. Duel Links is only uh, something we do on Sundays, A Jamal. You see, because I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing in Duel Links. I'd rather play Dragon Quest. Because, again, at, with Dragon Quest, it's just turn based RPGs. I, I can kind of deal with that. Getting raided by you is a big surprise. Well, Tyler, I'm sorry about that, man. You know, uh,. When I did the raid, I was just trying to make sure we can get more people some awesome content. I'd imagine it was a pretty big surprise if I do say so myself. Alright, so let's go with the sleeper hit on the outer shambles number three. Don't be sorry, it was fun. I'm glad to hear that you had a lot of fun with that, because we had a lot of fun too. Yo, Casey Golden Knight! With the raid of seven, especially when I'm talking like Joe Swanson. Yo, Casey, thank you so much. For the raid. Definitely appreciate that, man. Hope you had a great time playing Stardew Valley. Case even redeemed cat, especially with Angie number what is going on. Yo, Luigi underscore H Lucas. Thank you so much for the follow. My name is Joe Swanson, and thank you for joining the Miller Brigade. Let's get up on Riku. Give it It's about six minutes of Riku. Let's go. I'm gonna regret this, but. What are you talking about, Tyler? What are you going to regret? Yes, it's Riku. He's back in the stream. And Blue Gator, it's great to see you, man. A Joe Swanson voice right? Yeah. You see... <laughs> there we go. You see, at the very same exact moment, as he raided us, uh, one person's like, Yo, I want you to talk like Joe Swanson, so I had to do my best. <laughs> but, yo, Casey, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Hope you had a great stream, dude. I was there for a little bit. I did a little bit of memeing, copying and pasting descriptions from Wikipedia about obscure great Mega Man games. But dude, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Like, for those who have not played the Mega Man Battle Network series, they are really, really good. <laughs> dude, I love... Dude, I'm glad that you love it, man. It's so good. Uh, let's see. I was gonna guide the raid to me. Ooh, that is true. I mean, that's one of the cool things, but, like, I think somebody actually did bring up they probably should increase how much that is, and I mean, that's probably true. Just because of how many people are watching Ramen, I would even think, like, maybe just throwing up a little bit more. But that seems rude. I mean, it's not really rude if you think about it, because it's just, it's what, you're still following the rules and everything, dude. It's not really rude at all. Like, honestly, dude, I think we have a guide raid for our own thing, too. So, if you ever want to guide the raid for yourself, you're more than welcome to. All right, so, um, wait, no, this is the Academia. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, so this is not the actual right way. So, I hate this. I found it once myself. So, maybe we've got to go to Nautica. But, yo, everybody who came in from Casey Stream, welcome. It's great to have you all. My name is Metallic Airlocks. I'm a little bit of a variety streamer. Uh, I stream Duel Links every Sunday, and I often stream, like, some, like, you know, story-based games throughout the week itself. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. So, Nautica is basically the underground world. Okay, so we gotta go back and find... Again, I found it once before. Why can't I find it again? A real thing is raiding somebody, then starting the stream right after. A uh, real rude thing is then shooting. Yeah, I mean, that could definitely be for sure, but just because it kind of, like, throws off the entire raid. Another time, so I may eat and avoid spoilers. Dude, I totally understand, Casey. Thank you again so much for the raid, dude. But, dude, you definitely gotta play this game. This game is so good, man. This game is really good. Try out the demo, dude. You can carry over the progress, too. I didn't notice Mario said, thank you, Luigi. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But, no, like, I listened to it several times. I'm like, wait, it literally does say he's saying, fuck you, it's great. Oh, we got Tyler and Casey gonna go for lurk status. That is so good. It's all, I appreciate that. Everybody have a great lurk. Okay, so, jeez, this isn't even the right location either. What am I doing? Okay, so I found it once before by mistake. I could do it again, right? Um, oh, it was. I think it was Silpelheim actually. That actually sounds right. 
That actually sounds right. But dude, Casey, when you start playing this game, dude, you're definitely gonna enjoy it. I can, I can almost, like, I can almost guarantee it. Especially if you like turn-based JRPGs. What, what's not the love? Okay, so. And I also did know that there was two Riku Redemptions, so instead of three minutes, it's gonna be on for six minutes. So that's why I was going there. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Excellent. All right, so we found the location that we need to go to. Everybody is pretty much HP'd pretty decently right now. Are you trying to follow? Are you trying to do the follow age Saiyan teacher, or because what you're gonna to want to do is just do follow age? Um, that would be the command that you're looking for, I believe. The rainbow grows brightly. One of the orbs must be nearby. Let's check it out. Ooh, what's up, dude? So you've sailed out across uh, the ocean to visit Snellheim, have you? I'm sorry, but your journey has been a waste. I'm afraid. What do you mean? Yeah, no worries, dude. I kind of figured as much, Saiyan. Two weeks and three days. Dude, time flies, man. Time flies. And again, it's so good to have you part of this community, my dude. What do I mean? <laughs> go see for yourself. What are we going to go see for ourselves? Like, what could it possibly be? Here we are. The Crystal Kingdom of Sniffelheim. Home to the famous Blue Orb. Blue Orb? Uh, it's a fair wee while since I've visited. Interesting. But it warms my heart to be back. Hmm. That must be about the only thing that is warm around Oh yeah, Veronica's here. back, I forgot. Let's hurry up and get inside before we all freeze to death. <laughs> huh? What's this? What the? The gates I mean, of course it's covered in ice. It's like a frozen Look, wasteland here. Shut. I mean, we have people with fire magic that could just melt the ice, right? Or we can climb over the gates. One of the options. There's definitely options we can do. How strange. Still, I suppose it's only natural they'd ice up in a climate as cold as this. Natural, my foot. <laughs> what about all the people inside? How are they supposed to live if they can't get in or out of the city? What would happen if somebody redeemed Sigmund and Joe Sansen? Yeah, I mean, I would do my best to try to do both at the same time, honestly. <laughs> They've always made sure to keep the main gate free of frost, even in the dead of winter. I can't guarantee it's going to sound good, but I'll probably try doing the same, like, them at the same time. So, what are we sub- Well, Whoops. if we can't go in through the front door, we'll just have to head round the back. I mean, it's not a bad idea, Rab. Yeah. I mean, you can also use your fire, like, again, we have two people who can use Sizz. We can literally uh, melt it, but okay. That is fine. Ooh, we get a password here. Oh. He's, oh, wait, there he is. Oh, he's gone. Uh, I guess we're not getting it. Spiffy, I don't say my points. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Like, I'm not even a huge fan of the sing song, but I guess, you know, it's there for a reason. So, hopefully, you get to enjoy when that does happen. You think I'm an armor? And, no, mate, I'm a postman. I got a letter to deliver to Sniffleheim, but all the gates are frozen solid. I can't get in. My life, eh? I heard there's a back door into the city, but there ain't nothing around. Maybe it's over to the west. Oh, Riku, it's been nice seeing you, but you got to go back to bed. Good night, Riku. Enjoy your stay. All right, so they said west, so we're going to head west here, guys. Because, I mean, this would make the most sense in case there was, like, a backdoor entrance or something like that. Oh, we even get a fire pit and also a save spot, so we're definitely going to save that as well. Because <clears throat> I know some people did have some, like, NP usage, especially from the fight we just had to deal with. So it would not be a bad idea for us to actually have that stored up in the reserve. So let's let's save as well. I I still don't know if we're actually over leveled to this place at all, but I'm I'm still totally okay with that. Yeah, we're gonna save. All right, so continuing where we left off, let's try to find an entrance into the city. But I also want to do a little bit of light exploring. Yo, it's a dude. The gates are frozen shut, and the castle is completely silent. What in the world has happened in Stuffelheim? Yo, that's a great question. It's something we're trying to figure out here today. Uh, being taken over by a mysterious force and made everything cold. What is Sniffleheim? Correct. Oh, look, we got... Oh, there's actually bunnies. That's adorable. That is actually adorable. Easy. The dorm is firmly locked. So we cannot get in the back way either. You know, I think I've seen this symbol before. I recommend we need a special key of some sort to get these doors open. Well, there's no point in hanging around here. Let's see what L'Oreal's harp can take us. Wait, we gotta use the harp now? But where? Like, where are we gonna be using the harp? Do we have to actually go 
back onto our boat, or should we just explore the island a little bit? Um, because, I mean, we can also go to the Stuffelheim region. Because I don't really understand, like, what the point of using the harp is, because the harp is something that we can only really use on the boat. So I kind of want to check out over here, see if we can actually go through here first. Oh. Interesting. It could be maybe another place to, like, open up. Hmm. It's our fault. I mean, not really. It seems like this is just more of an open area. I mean, it could take a... I don't know what the Star Fault is. They said to go to... I'll just gonna go trust what Rab said. So we're gonna go back to the boat and see about using the harp then. Because I don't know that's the right call to do. It is over to the west, but unfortunately we can't go into it. He's not even giving us the passwords either. Really. Yes, I understand the rainbow is going to be growing and it's going to be near us, but unfortunately we can't go any further. So let's see, let's see. Alright, so let's board the boat again. Because usually you have to be in a boat, I believe, to actually simply use the, um, the harp. Uh, let's see, I don't really... Actually, let's check out the map. Um, oh. Potentially, maybe I just need to go around and then go to the very top. Because it did have, like, an indication to connect the two dots, so maybe, just maybe. Ooh, we got a flying enemy, too. Alright, so Eric, my boy, my lad, Eric, you're definitely gonna put a lot of work into this one. So first, Harvest Moon... On the Chillo Dawn. Ooh, that's actually really damage. Uh, the hero is gonna use a flame slash. The hero's doing pretty good too. Uh, Eric, you're gonna put him to sleep. Yes, we called it. Let's go. Rab, my dear trusted ally Rab. You're gonna use Zam. Zam is just really good. He is still asleep. Let's go. And now I wanna do this. We're gonna use Persecutor because this is just such good damage. 231. Let's go. And a queen reference. What more can we ask for? All right, so let's let's continue to our journey to collect the Dragon Balls. Because that's pretty much what this really is. Let's be real. All right, so here is where I am curious on. Yes, we're going to play Lorelei's help. Harp. Harp. Because this will take us to another place underground, I believe. Wait, what? That's it? Um, it literally just took us back. Um, that's not cool, man. That is not cool at all. <laughs> it's definitely not cool. Um, I, mean, I guess I can. Oh, let's just see Scorcher. We're gonna lose the pep if we don't do anything right now, so I guess we can do that. That's fine. It's just such good damage. Every time they attack, they just get like almost 100 points to themselves alone. So we're going to use Miracle Slash on Chilobadon. Because again, it's just a good way to heal on Dudeo at the same time. He took a Selfish Bite. Ooh, 40. Uh, we're going to use Harvest Moon. Well, actually, we don't even need to use Harvest Moon. We could just probably attack and call it good. Because Jade's damage output is still pretty good, all things considering. Um, nobody really needs to heal. But I suppose I could do mid-heal on Metallic. Just keep his HP pretty high up there, you know what I'm saying? Just have them keep attacking. There you go, Eric. There he goes. All right. So considering these two locations are pretty close, I'm going to check this place, the Viking hideout. I mean, it is pretty close to Sniffleheim's castle, so maybe they actually have, like, the key or something. <clears throat> I want to be too far out of the realm of logic. And we're still in the same region, too, so maybe... Welcome, traveler. You are brave or stupid to sail into our hideout so Burnsley. We are the Vikings, dreaded scourge of the northern seas. What business do you have with us? If it's Sniffleheim you seek, you're in the wrong place. Raise your anchor and sail around the cape to the east. Um, I'm going to save and go a little bit further, because you guys might have a key or something that I want. So we're going to do that really quick. Because, again, um, maybe we have to go into the region? <laughs> I love the Keanu thing. I really do. 
Like, I feel like the BTT emotes are, like, really, really cool, and I really do enjoy, like, the ones that Keanu has. Oh, he's drunk. That's cool. That is cool. <laughs> um, let's see. What what does the map look like here? I'm the Chief's personal guardian. At first, I just did it for the gold, but now I'm a fully-fledged member of the game. I would ask how to fit you in here, but it's pretty plain that you don't. If there's something you gotta be, I recommend you get going. Man, it seems like a lot of people don't want us to be here. You good? Uh, I mean, the queen... All the treasure in this room belongs to the Vikings. Anyway, so... Ooh, that's a lot of treasure back there, actually. I'm afraid... I'm afraid to go too close to it, though, so we're gonna stay away from that. <clears throat> Let's talk to this guy. You're a long way from Holden, World Walker. I am the chief of the Vikings. This is my hideout. What do you think you're doing here? Well, if you aren't here to cause trouble, you can stick around. So I got some wind to sail my sails. I mean, at least they're pretty chill, you know? At least they're pretty damn chill. So I guess nothing is of really useful here. So maybe we do just need to go talk to the Mermaid Queen then. I mean, we're not really getting too much information from here. But let's actually check out the well really quick too. Oh wow, this is actually... Wait, there's a bed in here? I don't understand why there's a bed in a well. I feel like we shouldn't really need to question that. Or should we question that? Oh, this makes more sense. No, this makes more sense. Okay, okay. Uh, all the wine and stuff like that. What about over here? I mean, there's a shiny thing. We might as well collect something from it. A Brighton Rock. Interesting. I think that actually might be the first material that we actually picked up of that item. Interesting. Um, so, maybe I should go check out the other part of Sniffleheim then. So, I mean, maybe there's something more to it besides just like going around here. So, they did say to check out the harp, but I don't know if the harp is actually the right way to go because there's still so much more island left to explore. Okay, so we're heading the right way. If I could jump over this, there we go. So we push through. Yo, what's up, Dave? We gotta go. We gotta go. The Vikings are gonna come to kill us. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right. All right. Let's see here. So, yeah, we'll disembark into here again, and we'll do a little bit more exploring, especially because I could just summon the horse and just make it much quicker. So we don't, like, miss out on too much time and stuff like that. So I definitely do want to try to get as much progress as we did last time. Because on the last stream that we actually had of this game, it was crazy. We got, like, two or three orbs in just one go. Which honestly was amazing. Can I... I'm going to see if I can go through here and some of the horse afterwards. Because the horse just has so much more traction, for sure. Alright, let's see, so... Miss Galant... No, it's, uh, it's uh, just the start button. Horse Hailer. Yes! It works, let's go! Yo, Tyler, welcome back, dude. It's good to see you. Hope everything is going all good for you, dude. Alright, so... I can go to the... I can go... We're gonna go up here, actually, first. We're gonna try going up here first, see if we can find anything. I was first killing Mafia. Oh, are you playing... Is uh, Ramen doing the end game now? Like, uh, it's like ramen doing, like, mafia. Yo, Circus made me do it. Welcome to the stream, dude. It's good to see you. Hope you've been doing well, man. Nice, dude. Um, again, with mafia, to me, it just seems like it's, uh... I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's one of my kind of games, you know? Like, it seems pretty fun. I know Rama does a great job of explaining that it's, like, uh... Basically an emergency meeting, um... But for, like, you know... Compared to, like, Among Us. I don't know. To me, it just doesn't really seem like my cup of game. Like, gaming to you or whatever like that, you know? Uh... I guess I can go down here. Ooh, there's a lot of us here. Among Us Oops All Berries. <laughs> Yo, I mean, that actually seems like a pretty interesting idea. That seems like an interesting idea. What luck. Metallic finds a recipe for super cool kit. Learns how to make winter wings, how to make shiver sticks. Interesting. But then again, like, it's been way too long. It's been way too long since I even had cereals. So I gave it safe without that. I mean, you fit perfectly. You scam us every day. Ooh, scamatize me, Captain. Let's go. 
Uh, but no. I mean, I need to. I need to get morality check. I need to get much better at not doing that. But you know, it's just it's just too tempting, especially like with Riku, like you know, points on the line or whatever. Pat the snarf belt. Okay, so this can't be it. Because it looks like this is just like like there's nothing more going on either, you know. So maybe I don't want to do it, but we're gonna go back to the queen and see if she can give some ideas. Hydration, yeah, definitely we got that. We definitely can do that. You should think uh, stream the Sly Cooper games. Ooh, that's actually not a bad incentive. It's the only thing I have in my vicinity, but. Honestly, the Sly Cooper games definitely have my curiosity for sure. I believe I have them all for the PS3, so I would totally be down into it. Uh, what I definitely need to do, man, um, I want to first try out the PS3 with the uh, the converter thing, just make sure it all works out. And then, yeah, we can definitely look into it for sure. I mean, the Sly Cooper games are very much platformer-based, right? After God of War, of course. Yes, of course. We cannot do anything to deviate from the attention of God of War. I redeemed for water, not coke scam. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Circus. I'm sorry, dude. I'll give you plenty of hydrates for water later on. Besides, it's not coke. It's it's Diet Pepsi, man. <laughs> but that probably makes it worse now, doesn't it? Um, Again, I'm sorry, Circus. I'm sorry. All right, so let's go up to the throne room. If anything, I should probably change. I should probably change that. That I'm just gonna be sipping on some liquids. I'll probably just say like I'm actually just gonna be sipping on some liquids. All right, so greeting luminary. Pray what brings you back to the sea. Yes, we need consultation. All right, so let me advise you the path ahead. Far, far to the west of here, where light. Uh, let's see. Far to the west of here, where light floats on the seas. A village stands on ancient lands. So it's far to the left. If you discover that your path is blocked, these runes may provide the key to open that lock. Go forth. Okay, so we gotta go west. There are three things in my house that I drink. Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper, and Pepsi disguised as Dr. Pepper. I mean, Dr. Pepper is still a good choice for, like, you know, sodas. Usually when I do drink a soda, it's usually Dr. Pepper in some form of fashion. If it's not, then it might just be Diet Pepsi, but usually I try to stick to, like, just water, tea, and coffee. But unfortunately, like, you know, sometimes you just want something a little bit different, something a little bit more sweeter. But, you know, it's all good, man. Okay, so. Dude, no, Dr. Pepper's great. Dr. Pepper's great. All right, so. Uh, they said to go west, so we're going to do that. It is possible that the the Snuffsleigheim, the winter place, is maybe, like, the orb after this one. So, we're going to go west. Of Nautica. Which... Wait. Wait. So, I mean, technically, this is west. Because, like, Nautica is right here. And, oh, wait, Simple City is actually farther than I thought initially. Okay, so. Interesting. Okay, so let's go back to Nautica. I probably went too far west. But no, actually, let's zoom it. Uh, I can't zoom. Damn it. Uh, okay, fine. We're going to zoom. We're going to go back, and we're just going to, like, go a little bit to the west and just go from there. Addiction is a bad kid. This is a perfect example of it. Uh, I mean, as long as it's not ruining your life, then you're good. Dr. Pepper doesn't ruin your life. It has doctor in St. Pete's sake. Pet shop boys go west. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start from the, like, Ascension of Nautica and go from there. Um... And with any luck, I can get, like, ATM or somebody in the chat to be able to kind of give me some guidance or caramel. Um, because, again, like, with this one, they're not really being very explicit on where to go besides just west. Which is fine. You know, I gotta figure this stuff out eventually. Do I guide the raid or jail metallic for tax evasion? You can do either or, man. You can do either or. You can do either or. I'm still waiting for some of my last 1099s to come in, so... I'm getting ready for that, man. I'm definitely getting ready for that. Uh, let's see. So, they said west. Mm. One thing I wish that they made this game a little bit easier to do is flee in battle. Like, I feel like you can never flee the first shot. See? You just never do. You just never do. More like wish, SpongeBob! 
You gotta love like those older school SpongeBob episodes. I don't know. I haven't watched SpongeBob in like years, so I don't think I got any better or any worse. Okay, so it actually looks like there's really not much. Let's see. Interesting. Texas for the week. <laughs> I wish they came out of gaming with like the old PS2 games. I mean, I feel like some of the ga newer games they still do make like strategy guides and stuff like that, but it's very much more rare these days. And um, I don't know. I feel like it's more for like the bigger game titles out there, you know. Like of course, like Pokemon's gonna keep making them just because they're really cool collectors' items too. But yeah, no, dude, for real. Um, I just feel like they don't do it anymore just because like. Why would we do this when people can just Google how to do what they want to do for free? We're losing money on art, design, and all this other stuff, so. I mean, I get it, but yeah, dude, no, I miss those. Like, you guys remember, like, those little books that they had, like, they're, like, pocket books? And it was full of, like, just cheats for, like, a hundred or a thousand different games? Those were actually kind of interesting, not gonna lie. I can't go through this. Okay, I can't go through there. Interesting. I found out nothing is allowed to me anymore. <laughs> what do you mean by that, dude? Uh, okay, so we're gonna go a little bit west through here and hopefully we can find something. The music is still pretty good. Again, like, you can never escape on your first attempt, and it kind of... It's kind of annoying, to be honest. I mean, I like the fights in this game, but not like the random encounter ones that much. Okay, so is this back to... This is the Emerald Coast. Um... I mean, she said far west, right? So I'm not even too sure if this is actually the right location to look into. Um, no, I mean, this looks like just a big piece of... No, because we're back at the... Okay, so this is actually the wrong place to go for sure. Um, oh, come on, why, why, why? All right, so let's... Campsite's quicker to what I want to go to. Anytime there isn't a headphones warning, I turn the volume, but it doesn't affect me. Uh, maybe it's just like the volume output isn't that loud. But no, I get you. Because like sometimes like when you turn it all the way up, it says like, you know, warning's going to be really loud. But if like the audio source itself isn't really that loud, you don't have much to worry about. I think I kind of made a mistake with that when I did my like my raid music. Because like I feel like the raid music, like whenever somebody raids a channel, that like metallic sounding song. Um, it's not that loud because I kind of screwed up with the decibels and I don't feel like re-recording everything again. All right, so let me read this again. So uh, we'll need a special key. There's no, let's see where else, where else can, okay, so we gotta like go to like the different places with the harp, but where, you know? Interesting, all right, that's fine. So, let me get back on the boat. We can do that, we can do that, that's not a problem. Yo, ATM, yo, metal in chat, dude. Welcome to the stream, man. It's great to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying the Call of Duty, man. What have you been up to, dude? And actually, great time, dude. Great, great time to see you because I actually have a question for you. I have a question for the fabled ATM. Let's go. So, uh, ATM, do you remember where you have to go when it comes? I don't even know why I'm here. That's weird. Do you know where you have to go to get the key to get inside the castle in um, Sneffelheim? Or whatever it's called. Like the the key to get into the back off, like the back door of the, the Sneffelheim city. Because I'm not really finding any clues to be able to take me where I need to go besides going far west. Which I think is already here. Yeah. Think about factory resetting my, the anticipation. Because, yeah, like, the, the snow castle. I'm not too sure if you remember ATM. So I'm kind of curious. Because, uh, I mean, they said to check out with the L'Oreal's Harp, which we've already done one location, so I guess we got to look for a different one. So, you're unable to get in the snow town. Correct. Correct, my dude. Correct. Computer to free up some space and think about Warzone. Is it good? I mean, maybe. If you really want to play Warzone, it may not be a bad idea. 
Let's go to the left side. Uh, what do you mean by the left side, dude? Do you talk about like, the the back door of like where the castle is? Yeah, we've already went there. So we went to the far left, and then they said you need like okay. So they're like, we need to get a key to open the door, and then they suggested using the harp, which I might know where I need to go. Now that I'm talking out loud, I think I know where to go. I have an idea anyway. And I mean, honestly, Tyler, yeah, dude. If you think like if uh, if you really think that'll be worth it, um, for sure, man, you could definitely look into doing it. Is that the campsite? I think it showed to the right way to use the harp. Uh, yeah, we can double check that actually really quick. Um, but yeah, dude, no, like the gigabyte requirements from Warzone is ridiculous. Like, I've been thinking about uninstalling it from my computer just because I barely play it. But I know ATM will have like a heart attack, and I don't want to do that to my boy. The so exclamation point on the map. I think it showed right next to one use the harp. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that to ATM. My boys are playing Warzone right now. I mean, would, honestly, Warzone wouldn't be a bad thing to stream as well. Because, I mean, a lot of people just like enjoying Warzone, dude. Whether it be that or Apex, it's totally up to you, though, man. On your Open your map on your boat map. Ooh, okay. We gotta go... Wait, weren't we just... I feel like I was just there, though, dude. It's not, that's, isn't that Nautica? I could be wrong, though. So, the closest one to get to would be the Strand. So, let's go to the Strand really quick. <laughs> but for BR, anytime, as long as it ain't Fort. <laughs> for any Battle Royals, it's like, I've never heard, I've heard of Fortnite, of course. Because, again, everybody and their mom knows Fortnite. Never heard of Realm Royal. Is uh, Realm not that good? No, I'm going to check that place out again, make sure it's actually the right location. I'm not too sure, though. That's the thing. Because I... No, I don't want to go to the Strand. I d oh, interesting, because I did download Hyperscape, but I never actually played it. Like, typically, like, the games that are just, like, you know, given out for, like, free, like, especially, like, Battle Royales, unless I have somebody actually telling me what to do, like, you know, to play it. I'm not usually the one to try, but is it is it good? Ooh, he actually took some damage there. So let's try fleeing really quick. There we go. Yes, this is the right one. This, uh, is this actually the right? Ooh, let's double check, actually. Let's say it's better than Apex. Interesting. I might have to give it a shot, then. I definitely might have to give it a shot. Yeah, because this just takes us to Sniffleheim, right? No. Okay. Interesting. Because this is taking me back to... Wait. Yeah, because this is taking me back to the location... For the uh, academia, right? Yeah, this is the place for the academia. Um. Yeah, so we're back at the academia, which is interesting. I don't think it's that green dot we have to look at. Maybe I have to go this way instead. Because yeah, like I thought it was weird when we first went this way, ATM. It took me back to the academia. I'm like, wait. Did you go to the Eerie Eerie yet? Where is the Eerie Eerie? Maybe that's what I'm missing. But it's so fast and the mobility is insane. Ooh, interesting. Like, is it like as mobile as like a spell break or anything like that? Um. Oh, the Eerie Eerie. Yes, yes. I believe we already went there before. I believe we did. Yo, more pickle ricks. Let's go. Because I believe. I went up there, like, the first time we came here, just because I was doing, like, you know, some exploration around here. Ooh, golems! That is so cool seeing these guys. I like seeing golems. Like, some of the really old-school Dragon Quest monster games, like, um, the monster ones, like, you know, where you get, like, golem, dran, and stuff like that. It's just super nostalgic for me. <clears throat> We're gonna check in here and see if there's anything new. 
It's just a cave. There's gotta be something for this cave, right? Interesting. Um, a free book. There's an ancient book here. This book is almost completely worn. Metallic only just makes it the word. You'll just try and secret of the waters. Tries to read a page here, but something tells us it's not quite ready yet. Ooh, interesting. Uh, what's the key you need for... You're going through the side door and you're told to get it. Yeah, so we try to go to the very back door. And we were told by Rab that we need a key. And then he suggested using the harp to see where we can go. And, like, for the places that we did use the harp, it didn't really do too much. I might need to go, like, back to the world map and then just try going to the very top. How many orbs do you have? Uh, let's see. So, we have the one, two, three. We have four orbs currently. We have four orbs. Somehow I was able to get that far on my own. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we have four orbs out of the six. That helps me think. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, my gas roll. So, I think maybe... I have to go back to... I'm going to go to Simpleheim to make it quicker. And then just go to the far right. Because there's another place I haven't gone through yet. <clears throat> it's a class-based shooter, but you can mix and match your abilities. It makes it batch in the same ability as the BR and it adds a dash and amazing gunplay. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> I might have to see... I have to make sure I still have it downloaded. Because I downloaded it months ago on my PS4. But I had to go through and like remove stuff because I... I'm actually running out of space on system storage and also, like, the the uh, external hard drive, so I might have to see about re-downloading it. Hopefully it's not a big, big game. There's another location over here, HM, that I might need to actually go to. Because they're suggesting that I need to use the harp for just going around places. And that's the only other one I haven't really done just yet. Let's go. Where you fight... I don't believe so. The Faranon part where you fight a boss. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one, dude. So that might be what I need to do. Yeah, I know it's free, which is one of the cooler things about it. Again, most uh, Battle Royale games seem like to be just like a free. Like, it just usually is free, right? So we've already went here. That didn't, This is the one I don't want to go to. Try that. It's in the area that you were at the, with the Eerie Eerie. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So, out of curiosity for myself, and just to do a little bit of uh, exploration, I'm gonna check out that one place first. <clears throat> and it's crossplay. Aren't most uh, aren't most battle royale games like crossplay these days anyway? I mean, it's still pretty cool though. It's still definitely cool, but I thought that was like the norm for most of them. Yeah, we gotta keep going. Look, you guys see that glowing light cylinder over there? That's kind of like what we're objectively going for. But we're going to take a stop over here, just so we can get those fast travel points. And we're going to stop here really quick. Because again, if I could just fast travel to a place, besides like having to sail the Seven Seas, like that's just going to save a lot of time. Insolia Borealis. Interesting. I was hoping it was Aurora Borealis, so we can get Seymour in here. <clears throat> okay, so... And that's cool, because I believe that should open up another uh, warp place, too, right? I'm not too sure. We should actually heal Jade really quick. Yeah, because Jade actually seemed pretty low. <laughs> Come on, we were so close. Oh, War Griffins. Yeah, we can fight them. Let's, let's give a little bit of content. How do you like this? Uh, Jade, we're going to use Harvest Moon on the other one. Magic Bear. Okay, so they both have Magic Bear. So that's actually good to know. Wrap is kind of like worthless now. Um, but that's fine. So we're going to go with the hero and use Flame Slash on War Griffin B. So close. <laughs> Man, that did nothing. All right. Um, so, I mean, he did take some damage. So we'll actually use Miracle Slash this time. Ooh, there we go. Sleeper hit. Because, again, this game is not even considered a sleeper hit. Uh, Jade is next. So we're going to use abilities. We're going to use Harvest Moon again. Which is super good. Uh, Wrath is just going to hit the War Griffin on the head. Ooh, he even took it out. Interesting. Okay, so we finally made it. Let's let's see where this leads us to, shall we? <clears throat> and if this doesn't lead me to where I need to go, then I'm just going to go to the eerie, eerie thing that ATM pointed out. Because I thought I went there. 
Like, I for real thought I did. <clears throat> Is this just like an island? Anything special about it, though? Oh, it's one of these islands. Wow. All right. ATM, I am definitely going to take your advice. We're going to go there. <clears throat> yeah, the girls' school. Yeah, we're going to go back to the... Uh, yeah, because we already made to the Eerie Eerie before. We already made to the uh, the Eerie Eerie before, because we can actually fast travel to it. Do I follow you on Twitter, Metallic? I'm not too sure, man. That actually reminds me. I forgot to... That actually reminds me that I forgot to do this. Um, I believe so, but I could be wrong. So let me just send out my uh, these things really quick. Because um, I had to deal with something really quick before stream. So I forgot to like send out the notifications like in Discord and shit. So thank you for reminding me on that one. <laughs> um, but I believe so. But you can always check to see if you are following me on Twitter. Unfortunately, I don't really post much on Twitter. Because like, again, um, what, what, what do you post on Twitter these days anyway? Like, I know for the longest time on Twitter, I would just, like, post, like, just, like, stupid things. Like, how do I send a friend request and have them, like, how do I send a friend request, like, on MySpace or something like that? Just something dumb. So, go to the Phantom Nom once you get to the space and you're the girl. So, where's Phantom Nom? Because we're already at the Eerie Eerie. Where is the one with gold? I mean, he has gold. <clears throat> All right, so ooh, Metallica's all pepped. Let's go back in this area. All right, cool. I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll follow you. All right, cool, dude. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Hopefully, I can provide you with endless of content and good stuff like that. Before, where were you at before entering the Eerie? Uh, we were so before then we just got to Snippelheim. That's really it. Um, and then after that, like we ended the stream and then we're coming back to it. And then it's like, oh, you need a key. So now we gotta figure out where to get that key from. <clears throat> Sniffleheim, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not actually it's actually not Niffleheim, it's actually Sniffleheim or something like that, which is interesting. I think it's supposed to be like a play on that word like you know that place, but I'm not too sure. I think you walk out of this and enter I think you walk out of this area back to where you enter the area. Fuck! I didn't mean to hit this guy. Yeah, sniff. Like sniffing, no, not at all. Too far away from that. Okay, so let's flee from this guy because I don't feel like fighting this dude. I really don't. So I think you walk out of this area back to where you enter because this is the eerie eerie. Wait, no. So we've already done the condor, uh, the condor's Craig. So we've already done that because that's where we got one of the orbs itself. Fuck! I gotta start looking at the screen. <clears throat> No, like, they really didn't distract me, dude, because, like, once we, like, finish up that, they're just like, yeah, go talk to the queen, and that's really it. But no, we've already done the condor thing, so we're done with that. <clears throat> alright, alright, alright. Um... You know what? Did you talk to the queen by the fire? No, I did not. I did not actually do that. Is she actually towards the right part of it? Because I didn't actually, they didn't actually tell us to do that, but we could definitely look into that. So thank you. for definitely appreciate that. <laughs> Fact. I mean, for real. Like, again, like, just the obnoxious, like, people. She's inside. <laughs> Damn it. No ATM. We have to open the back door. That's, that's what I need to do. So I can't do that. Oh, man. No, we can't even do that. We have to open the back door is the thing. So that's where I'm currently at right now. I'm actually just about to just pull up a wiki or a guide or something like that. <clears throat> Hopefully that helps because, again, I need to open the door first. Um, Because I've already went through the places that they're suggesting. They said west of Nautica is... Pretty much it. I'm just gonna go explore around here a little bit. I think that might be a good idea. <clears throat> Sorry if I confuse you, ATM. Sorry if I confuse you, man. I mean, this part of the game, they give like really no. Yes, Tyler. And 
I know all about that. I do. And it and it kills me because I had like a decent amount in GameStop stocks and sold a few months before it spiked. So I, I know all about that. It made me one very sad boy. Cause even this guy just tells us like there's nothing really going on. <clears throat> Maybe it's over to the west. But, but again, we can't open the door. Uh, I'm gonna check out here to see if there's anything different. Because yeah, uh, we gotta open the door first. Stock market, it get, uh, fucking horrifies me. I mean, as long as you do your research and knowing what you're investing in, you probably shouldn't. Then you shouldn't have too much concern. And honestly, um, it's a high risk. Like it can be like there's usually type of different categories like you know high risk, high reward, low risk, low reward. Um, but yeah, dude, lately in 2020 and 2021, it's just been very unpredictable because, again, of the COVID virus and everything else going on. Um, but I mean, honestly, dude, it's not a bad thing to learn a little bit about just because, again, like just general personal finance is not a bad thing at all to learn about. Um, just because, why couldn't the horse get over that? Um, because again, like you can do things to help benefit you, like from a financial standpoint. Again, this is edu this is uh, entertainment, not educational financial advice. But again, you can like look into doing stuff like retirement early on, compound interest, um, all that good stuff, man. All that good stuff. I know nothing about the stock market. You just hear stocks and I think crash. I mean, true. There are times where we go from a bull market to a bear market. But I mean, think of it this way, when the stock market crashes, it honestly usually does come back around at some point in time. So when it does crash, buy in when it's low and then sell when it's high. But again, just entertainment advice. I am not like accredited at all, but that's just like some, bait, like, some ideas like what I do now. Um, you know, all handy. But I mean, again, like... I think like most classes, I, like, I think actually some classes actually now, like, sorry, school starts kind of like covering that a little bit. Did you get the silver orb from the girls' school? I, I believe we did. I believe we did, actually. I'll double check my inventory really quick. Because I believe we got it from the guy, right? Um, so items, important items. Yes, we do have the silver orb. So I think if you're looking at a guide ATM, we're right at the point where we just got the silver orb. No password today, boys. Leave that area and then go to... Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Uh, yes. Sorry, I'm building an Earthbound Immortals and I beat Thunder Dragon. Dude, no worries, Primo. Dude, it's good to see you. Hope you were doing well, dude. Interesting. Earthbound Immortals seems like going to be a pretty interesting deck to play for sure. Honestly, about to give up my life. <laughs> dude, I mean... There's been, like, people actually do say that, like, the stock market is, like, legal gambling. So, it's not too far away, dude. But again, just, like, if you're gonna go with, like, any investments or anything like that, go with what you know most about. Like, for a while, like, you know, I was actually, like, back in Michigan, I would actually pick up Yu-Gi-Oh! collections or buy, like, stuff on TCG Player. And then just, like, I remember one time... So for those who know Yu-Gi-Oh, there's an old, old card called Mask of Restrict. I bought, like, there was, like, a time where the highest rarity was, like, two bucks, two or three bucks. And I literally spent, um, I think I spent, like, 50 bucks buying a bunch of copies. And I was, like, and then, like, four to five years later, the card jumped from, like, two bucks to, like, 25. So I had some fun with that. Um, because I knew eventually, again, they would make the mechanic really good. Spent 99 dodge today. I sold them, made 500. To, I mean, again, ATM. We're in a very unprecedented time when it comes to the stock market and everything like that, crypto included. So, but again, congratulations, dude. Congratulations. I know you go crush just not how to play. I mean, but if you kind of like understand the dynamics and the economics of the game, you can kind of make some money off of it, honestly. Wish they had more Earthbound and more support. I mean, they might get some more down the road in dueling, so you never know. Just the most meme stock I've ever seen. I mean, dude, it pretty much is. It pretty much is. Like, I thought it was like you were talking to me, like, about the Doge thing. Alright, cutscenes are good. ATM, I appreciate you. Yeah, no. Again, not recommended. Any questions about the stock market, please see a financial advisor. Not two guys on the internet. Out of the way. 
Drongos. Some of us have got sights to see. Thanks, ATM. Appreciate you, my dude. And this place looks really cool, actually. I got six minutes until the start of the stream. All right, dude. Tyler, hope you have a great stream, man. Thank you so much for being here, dude. Definitely appreciate you. Ooh, it's Eric. The beatific smile of the mural of the ruins of now what brings good fortune to all who lay eyes upon it. Well, if they believe that kind of rubbish, I'm guessing you didn't find out much of any use. You guys remember Pogs and Slimers? I do not, actually. That's right, laddie. Not a sausage. But we're looking for something different now. My teacher's spending a lot of money in Snapchat, Tesla, along with Apple. Tesla and Apple are definitely good choices, for sure. Um, I'm not too sure about Snapchat. And with the um, with us too. Interesting, though. I have a feeling it might and that's actually interesting, because Tels Tesla and like, Apple are like two to $400 stocks. Unless he's doing fractional shares. I'm not too sure. Let's split up and see what we can find out on the way. Yeah. I mean, one of the biggest problems with starting, like, I'll say this and we can drop the topic, but I feel like one of the biggest problems and hurdles that a lot of people do have is that, um, to, like, you need to have a lot of capital up front to do in the stock market, really. And a lot of people don't have that, especially this current day and age. To be honest, I'm looking forward to getting out of here. I hate all the people trying to sell me things. They're trying to sell you stuff, Jane? Why? Uh, head for the ruins of Nuwat behind Funam Nu. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's like one of the biggest hurdles that people do have. Alright, so we gotta keep going to the four. Made $36 off Snapchat in one day. I'm gonna ask him tomorrow. Nice! I mean, honestly, as long as you end up netting some kind of profit, that's always a good step in the right direction. That is definitely always good. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely interesting because you never really predict what's happening with it. Like, some stocks I've actually, like, have, like, I'm, like, up 50 to 100 bucks, and some I might be, like, down 20 to 30. It's weird. Who is that Pog, anyway? I don't even know who that is. Break your heart? The poor thing's lost her parents. Oh, don't cry, sweetie. It's all right. though, is such a tender soul. Now, why don't you tell me your name? We found Dora, the explorer? I came here with my mother and father, but they left me behind. They actually left him? Why would they leave their kid? To make them rich, and we just went. It meant that, ATM. Honestly, like with general education, they really need to. So I feel like with general education, they need to start including like, you know, um, building wealth, personal finance classes, tax classes, just basically stuff you need to know how to do. You can have like resume writing classes or seminars or something. I'll take the town, you search the ruins, okay? Yeah, sounds good, Savaldo. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Sylv's agency to the rescue. Savaldo's so good. But I'm kind of curious about his backstory because again, he... He did have that one point where he didn't want to get seen by that one person in the boat. So we just continue going north, right? Oh, wow. Look at... This is great. This looks great. Yo, what's up, dude? Oh, you're just... You're nearly there. That's... I'm super happy for you. That's awesome. Near a little mural on the wall. Who will be the richest of us all? They know exactly what's going on with the Wall Street bets. That's amazing. So these are the ruins where her parents may be lo Whoa, there's actually a building over here. Let's check it out really quick. What is this? Oh, it's locked! I right, stream time. Tyler, have a great stream, dude. In case, um, if you're still streaming by the time of the ending, if nobody redeems the raid, we can definitely see them about giving you a raid, dude. Surprised my uh, Earthbounds beat that deck, but I got slapped by some terrors. I mean, there could be a lot of factors, man. There could be you opened up really good and they opened up really bad. It just depends. It could have a good matchup. You, you never know, man. Everyone's talking about too, huh? Well, here it is. And it looks like an older version of Dora. It is pretty impressive. I still don't believe all that stuff about it being lucky, though. Oh, there's a there's a hole slash gash or whatever you want to call it. She's not exactly in the best condition. But yes, you're right. Hmm. 
That must be the key to the What's door. That around her neck? It looks like some kind of strange key. Because that's the same symbol on the back of the doors, right? <gasps> Not just any old strange key. Serena, that's the magic key. I'm sure of it. <sighs> Was that your stomach, Veronica? You're hungry again? She's a growing girl. No, it's Kids need was food. Not. Maybe if you weren't so clearly distracted by this impressive lady here. You got M7 first turn, loving here and past turn. I had Rainbow Live talking to some girl, she and Wonder One. Yeah, I mean, dude. Good job, though, still, man, dude. You never know. You never know. Wait, it, is it actually the key? I thought it was part of the painting. Interesting. There she blows, and just like she looked in my dreams too. This little beauty's gonna make old Bazza rich. Hey, there's plenty of room for everybody to look, you know. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Eric. I know your boy, Eric. Funky. Well, you can't keep it all to yourselves, you know. We deserve a chance to get rich too. Stop trying to hog all I feel like with everything like going on, this is actually kind of like a funny shows. time in the game. Yeah, give someone else a chance to be happy, why don't you? So there's a lot of work to be done. I need to take out a few monsters' spells, I believe. I mean, whatever works, dude. I mean, that's the cool thing with decks. They're always a work in progress, man. They are always tend to be a work in progress because things always constantly come out, man. Keen to see the mural, but clearly not as I mean, the thing is, we're gonna take the key anyway, so they can look at as much as they want. We're gonna take the key. What is it? Is there something else worrying you? Huh. So you're looking for this kid's parents, huh? Well, we got nothing better to do. Let's see what we can find. I'm thinking it's. There you are, my trusty side. I'm thinking she might be a descendant of the person in the mural picture. Alas, I found no sign of the missing persons in town. Did you have any luck here? Nope. Surely you just of all, though. It is a puzzling mystery indeed. Ah, but I am forgetting our young client. A detective cannot leave a child in distress. Come, we must find her. Wait, you lost the girl while you tried to find her parents. I, I still love you, Saval, though. I still love you. You're fine. Okay, uh, I guess we gotta find the kid now? She should be in final, so let's go back and give her the news. Alright, sounds I could just- I can just fast travel there. I believe, anyway. Uh, yeah, no. We, yes, we can. Let, but a mysterious power prevents me from doing it, so there must be actually some kind of cutscene coming up, too, which is gonna be really interesting. Um, that, that's totally fine with me. Totally fine with me. Cutscene, story is the way to go. Next part is pretty sick. I can't. Oh, Savando! I can't wait, dude. Hello, I lost the little door. Find your parents now and her. What's going on with this crazy village? Okay, new plan. We need to team up and look for her together. The village square is full of people. She went that way. Someone will have seen her. Sounds good, Savando. I mean, dude. So far, it seems like a lot of the stuff in this game kind of like comes out of left field. You know, like the whole fact that Jade, um, technically was like you know your bodyguard when you were much younger. Dude, seriously, like a lot of stuff is like left field. Oh, look at that, Veronica made a new friend. Thought this girl might be the woman who lost her parents, but I guess I was er, wrong. Anyway, Serena and the others should have headed back to the village. Should probably check and help them look down there. Uh, yes, we probably should, we probably should. All right, oh, there's also armory places too. We might be able to upgrade our stuff as well. Being separate from your parents at that age is hard and lonely. I should know. Let's try to find her mother and father as quickly as we can. I mean, I can totally relate to that, too. Our character can totally relate to that. Oh. You are visitors here, yes? You come from far, far away? Welcome to Phnom Nom. Phnom Nom is how you say it? First, I should introduce myself, I think. My name is Moni, and I am Phnom Nom's number one memorable... Oh, here we go. This kind of like alludes what Jade said about wanting to stop trying to sell us stuff. You must come to me. I have the best deals in town. 
Uh, he's no good. We've searched high and low, but we can't find her anywhere. The poor little darling has disappeared. <laughs> you are searching for someone. Do you have a device that you're gonna sell us that'll help us find her? Yes. Well. Oh. Not me, but my wife. She is the boss of the inn in this village. She Ooh. Be... I'm surprised you actually told us that information for free. Night between our clean and sumptuous sheets, and I'm certain <laughs> she'll share with you her knowledge. There it is. There it is. Not need to worry about the cost. The first night we will offer entirely for free. You were happy with this deal, yes? That kind of seems sus. Not gonna lie. Um, no, I'm not happy with that. No. I know what you're thinking. There's no such thing as a free lunch. But we might as well just. Oh come on, Veronica. Tonight. No. Well, you can be. As I know what you're thinking. There's no <laughs> such thing. Oh, <laughs> it's an endless lunch. loop. All right, fine. Um, I feel like this is going to be like one of those things where they just steal from us when we're sleeping or something. That's like the setup, it seems like it. But I'm a sucker for the plot, so let's go. Uh, where is, where is like the in person? I don't think it's her. Head into the inn and rest up and see if anybody knows about Dora. We just go to the top level? Ah! Here we go. Welcome to our inn. My husband has told me all about you. You'll be staying the night, I think so? Hmm? A little girl who is lost. Uh, why are you asking me, please? My husband said that I know everything about everyone. Ha <laughs> He'll say anything to attract customers, that one. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I do not know anything about your missing girl. Please do not be angry. I will let you stay for one night free, then everything will be alright. I think so? In fact, I have a room that's ready for you right now. Would you like to use it? Yeah, I guess we have no choice. Um, again, I'm kind of sus on this one, not gonna lie. We're gonna see what happens. Definitely gonna have to see what happens. Good morning, sir. You slept well last night, I think so. Please have a good day. Oh, by the way, do you know a name named uh, Balza? He is also a guest here, but he did not return last night. He was very keen, indeed, to see the mural. I hope he did not injure himself in the haste to get there. You must be too careful. Interesting. Do we head back to the door? Should still be in Phenomena. Interesting. I wonder if it's something to do with that mural or whatever. So let's head out of here. Let's talk to him. You had to come from another inn, I think so. You're always welcome to stay with us again. Hmm. The little girl who was lost? Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. I'm sure my wife... No, she can't. She cannot help. Unfortunately, you're, you're just a scumbag. All right, so... And there's a quest over there, but I guess we should just look around in town. It's a very lovely place, and they found the mural in the ruins. I think it's a blessing to the mural lady. Hmm. So we still got a fine door, though. Interesting, so... <laughs> Thanks to our famous mural, people will buy any old brooch if you say I'll bring them good luck. Oh, did I say that all up? <laughs> Please do not listen to me. Why not take a look at my lucky charms instead? No, we're done with you, dude. Hmm... Let's see. Yo, X Superson, dude, welcome to the stream. It's great to see you. It's been a little bit of time, dude. How have you been doing, man? How have you been doing? Because of that famous mirror, many people come to the Fail Unknown and bring lots of money with them. But now, right now, something is different. Suddenly, there are not many tourists around as usual. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Definitely appreciate that. I just realized I'm on a new account, so I'm not followed you on Twitch. <laughs> Yo, dude, thank you so much for all well, that. Welcome to the Mel Brigade, dude. It's great to see you, dude. Yeah, R360 ready. Yeah, no, for sure, dude. Uh, I definitely remember you, especially from, like, you know, um, the Super Mario Maker 2 stuff. And I believe um, in Discord, you mentioned to me, like, you know, hey, this is me. It's just a new account. But yeah, I know who it was you, man. How have you been doing, dude? Interesting. Uh, come on. Where Where is my cutscene to find Dora? Yeah, of course, dude. I still remember you, man. How can I forget? Again, you're, like, the person kind of, like... I think you're actually, like, one of the first people I've ever done, like... Uh, online Super Mario Maker 2 co-op stuff, which is actually a lot of fun, dude. Uh, which we do, again, start doing Super Mario Maker again back on, like, on Fridays around the afternoon, so... Uh, yeah, but we brought that Super Mario. It's actually been pretty fun, dude. Hmm. I still also need to check out Ru uh, Rubber Ross's world. Like, because I've seen a lot of people actually have been hyping over it, but I myself have not been able to go to it. 
Sorry, I kind of was going to use my pro menu, but I kind of already used it on like 10 games. <laughs> dude, no, dude, you're totally fine, man. I appreciate you just, you know, coming back into the follow, dude. I appreciate you, man. Oh, wait, you've already played it, dude? That is awesome. Like, uh, would you say it's like super difficult or would you say it's like a combination of difficulty and fun for the new dungeon or the new world? I'm sorry. Um, let's see. There's nothing it seems like over in the village that really knows anything about it. So maybe we can try heading back towards the mural. I didn't play it, but I watched Death's Book. Oh, interesting. Um, dang, I'm actually kind of curious. I think I might definitely want to try to do that at some point. Just either do it on stream or just do like something like YouTube or something like that. Oh, we found Nora. Why is she silent? <clears throat> interesting. Um, and she disappeared. Is it a ghost? All I did with the worlds was get the uh, first level worlds and got the 10 world complete. No, I mean, still a start, dude. It's still definitely a start. Um, I still need to check it out. I still need to check it out. Uh, I probably should at some point just like either remind myself or just get it like the code for it or whatnot. But I mean, I've been like, I've seen him like always on my recommendations for Twitch for like just Super Mario Maker in general. And I believe he's been, like, working on it the entire time, right? Like, on Twitch and stuff like that? Why codes? And that's a great question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nintendo does some, like, really backwards thinking in terms of, like, some of their things. But some of them are just really, really good. Hello. We've been trying to <laughs> Again? Dude, I, I just put him in my voicemail, but KC, thank you so much for the five bits, dude. Definitely appreciate that. Using Kaibos for my birth amount of morals. What skill you're playing, dude? If she did, she's I, know, I mean, that's true. Are you sure? I mean, I think a search bar would definitely be more easier for them to manage than trying to like make a really good online Smash like presence. Because Smash Online is it's still pretty bad in my opinion, from what I've experienced. Hey! Like, I think 1v1 is fine, but, like, anything above that is just, like, really hard. It's different from the last time we were here. Oh, wow, they're all praising her now at this point, too. Interesting. No, there's more. Uh, am I going crazy, or... I need 200 more bubbles. Oh, I wonder what he's talking about it. And doesn't that one look a whole lot like that Baza guy, the grumpy one? The lady at the inn said he didn't come back. Interesting. Balance is good. Proper grammar. <laughs> For real. For real. I've got a bad <clears throat> feeling about this. We need to get out of here now. There it is. Let's uh let's see what actually happens here. This isn't good. I have like 24 cards in the deck. I mean, that's still not bad for a balance build, dude. Why they like three uh, anime three? It's pretty much uh, it's a Japanese role playing game, dude. So if you know about Dragon Ball, it won't open. it's done by the same artist designs all the Dragon Quest games. Yo, Aaron, 1986, welcome to the stream, dude. It's great to see you. How are you doing, dude? Trying to lower the number, dude. I mean, that's always a possibility. Just because lower numbers um, equals better consistency. Someone say Dragon Ball? <laughs> Stupid, and you're fine. Again, it's it's JRPG, man. It's a common trope, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a common trope. Like again, remember Tifa from like Final Fantasy VII? Yeah. Do we get transported back in time or something? I'm doing good, dude. I'm glad to hear that, man. Definitely glad to hear that. <clears throat> Still chugging along on uh, Dragon Quest here. We got a little, we had a little bit of a roadblock, but we're definitely making progress, which is awesome. Feels like we're dreaming, but Yo, Blue Gator, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, no, Jade is de like there's so many similarities to Jade and Tifa in this game. It's Nowhere. you can easily tell that's where they got influenced her from. Inside the mural. <laughs> Sounds good, Primo. Enjoy the edits, my dude. Uh, wow, we're actually inside the mural. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. It's anime. Is this what happened to little Dora too? Oh, that poor, poor thing. Might just be the outfit, honestly. 
Uh, I know Frieza was popular at school, but... We've got a little girl to save. Frieza was popular at school, but his brother was cooler. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, I, I mean, you can make it where Jade doesn't have the spear, but I do prefer to actually have... Like, I feel like the spear is actually a pretty good combination, especially when you get the ability, like, multi-thrust. Which is awesome. Phone's at 5%. Yikes. <gasps> That's a... F Wait, no, no, no way. No way. Dude, a, f a fucking liquid metal slime right off the bat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, we got to get this. We have to get this. We need to get this. We need to get this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Jade. Good. Good. We got to get this. We got to get this. We got to get this. Dude, uh, no, it's not 2,000% experience. It's got to be more. It's got to be more. This is a liquid metal slime, dude. Not a... Metal Slime. Metal Slime's like 2,000. Liquids are usually more. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be overhyping this, but I don't I don't care. Uh, uh, let's go with Sleeper Hit. Yeah, I probably should have used Thunder Thrust. Because, like, if it hits, it's dead. Um, metal? Okay, so who's next? It's Rab. Okay, Rab. What do we have? What do we have here? Um, Jeez, I'm, like, really excited. I'm, like, really excited. Oh, uh, man, I probably should have... Okay, so he's actually getting close to death. Rab actually got him. Let's go. Please don't run. Please don't run. Yes! He didn't run. Okay, he did not run. He did not run. Oh, yes! Bro, let's go! Oh, I don't need to grind at all. Probably for a very long time. Let's go. Let's go. We got it. I mean, I probably did a bad era, but we got it, man. I'm the news father. The system doesn't know I've already fallen like seven months ago, right? Come on, Twitch, get with the program. Pretty sure that this is uh, I'm pretty sure this is my or follows on all my accounts. Oh, interesting, man. I mean, I actually do have. I think I have like two accounts on Twitch. Like this one, I also have another one I never really use. But I mean, still, I, I don't know, like, because like having like so many follows and just like one account can definitely take up time. And I kind of feel bad because like I don't get to watch all the people I like follow, but. Let's see how much we're going to get. Let's see how much we're going to get. This is exciting. <laughs> 10,269. Let's go. 28 to 29 for Metallic. Oh, yeah. Eric goes to 28 to 29 too. Things are looking up. Jade goes to 20 to 29. It's wild. over 9,000. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh, man. 20 to 29. Everybody's like getting leveled up. Like, it doesn't even matter. Even Serene and the other people are getting leveled up. Swoosh. But damn, 10,000. That's amazing. X Everson heading out. Dude, and don't worry. Thank you so much for dropping in, dude. It's always great to see you. Hope you have a great rest of your night, dude. And again, this thank you just for being you, man. But holy shit. I'm sorry. I'm just still super excited that we got the Liquid Metal Slime. I didn't even think they were actually here. Can I get another one? Can I get another one? No. Oh, but damn. For real, the XP was so hype, dude. It was super, super hype. Um, did not really expect to see that. See, Jay with the spear is great. Dude, Jade is always great with the spear. It's so good. Holy moly, this is a Philly friendly. Everyone's... <laughs> Everyone unfollow me, Sam. I mean, so, like, I... Okay, so, like, I prefer to, like, kind of, like, be around, like, you know, PG and PG, like, you know, 14 or whatever, but... Again, I'm not gonna be, like, cussing like a sailor. I don't do that really anymore on Twitch. But, no, it's it's pretty... I feel like we're pretty tame here, for the most part. But, again, seeing stuff like that, I'm sorry. You just gotta get hyped for it, you know? Alright, uh... Like, we have almost everybody pep, too. That's amazing. Do you know some stuff about Minecraft? Uh, unfortunately, not really. Um, hey, look. The last time I played Minecraft was when it, was like, when it just came out of the 360. I know, like... I, I know very, very little bit. I'm sorry. It's just not like my cup of tea. I'm not very creative, unfortunately. <laughs> like when it comes with those type of games. They're praising the mural. The only time I swear. I mean, it seems like a fitting time. It's the same as the one from the ruins. Who exactly is she? That is hype. I don't know, but she's a charmer, all right. She's certainly got this lot under her spell. Hmm. 
my beauty not captivate you too, child? It's... Perhaps when you were a little older. <gasps> Interesting. Is it like a demon or a witch? I am here. Right here. Hmm. Kills my dog, you animals. Why would you? <laughs> I didn't know you can actually get animals in Minecraft like that. That's interesting. There must be an up. There's been a bit like, must have been a ton of updates and quality of light changes since I last played it. Like, I did the tutorial level, and that's like pretty much it. So, like, now they have like a story mode too, now, right? Oh, nice. Like, I know a little bit about the history of Minecraft itself from, like, a creation standpoint, but not from, like, a game standpoint. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is giving out. Well, we are the main character in Illuminary, so... Do we actually have a boss fight? What are you talking Thanks for real, I have to stream too. Alright, sounds good, Xeverson. Thank you so much for the follow again. And also, dude, thank you so much for dropping in. You have a great rest of your stream, dude. Looking forward to seeing you again, my dude. Always a pleasure, dude. I wonder if Dor's parents are actually part of this entourage. Runa, wait. Everyone, come back. Yeah, I definitely did not expect this at all. Huh. Okay, you don't need to tell me what a bad idea this is, but we need to find Dora. Come on, let's go grab her and get out of here. But what if Dora is part of the group, or her parents are here, dude? We gotta keep going, we gotta keep going. Especially if finding that liquid metal slime, like, I am pretty tempted just to chill here and just farm liquid metal slimes. Again, we got a ton of money from that, too. A 10,000 experience, oh, it's so good. Um, can we get lucky again? Can we get lucky? No, unfortunately not. Right. But again, that's it's still insane. Um, we'll fight. So she has pet, but it's almost gone. So I might as well do that. Sense of all of pure blackness turned to a group of enemies. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, again, she's pretty much about to lose her pet anyway. So let's go for it. Eleven months and three weeks. <laughs> How are you? How is it not one year? Next week I get my rainbow badge hype, hype. But I mean, aren't you always like? Does it always gonna have like give you like the founders badge because you're part of like the original like, um, the original like the original sub of the channel? Jeez, there's a lot of these guys. I just realized. That. Eric coming in hot with that sick, with that super sick criticals. Let's go. If anything, dude, you deserve a casserole badge, man. I think you were stream. Uh, I think you told me to. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, because I was very quiet for like the first few parts of the stream, and then like I started getting more open about talking. Like, yeah, I do stream on Twitch here and there. So, if you like to follow, please do so because it's just super cool hanging out with people. Um, but yeah, I didn't tell like a lot of people like right out the gate. Um, honestly, dude, I. I don't even think a lot of people actually know that I do Twitch, to be honest. Which is probably a terrible opportunity, which is probably a missed opportunity for me to kind of get more people involved. <clears throat> but yeah, no, like, it, like, because even then, like, I remember that, like, back when I first started streaming, uh, you were also there just giving me a lot of, like, you know, you know, like, hey, heads up, your, um, your stream was great, but unfortunately, like, your chat was impossible to see due to, like, you know, card effects or something like that. So no, but but like you do, you both were extremely important to the growth and duration of the channel. Ooh, what are these guys? Let's fight them. I want to find another liquid metal slime. Oh, lion hexes. They changed the name. Like again, for the mo like for the majority of the part, like I'll probably like call these guys something else. And the only reason why that's like the case is because. Again, they're from, like, uh, the Dragon Warrior monster games that I played. Which were, in my opinion, better versions of Pokemon. They were just more fun, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll use... We'll use Jay's multi-thrust to take out one of them. 
Uh, Rav can actually give Jade more SP. So that's what we're going to do, actually. Because Jade's SP is looking pretty low, and I don't think I have like a lot of ways to restore it myself. Yo, that's whack, man, and you missed. So far, I'm really liking this team. Ooh, it's not valid, though. Guru to level 28 to 29. I love it. I love it. All right, so we got to keep going forward and taking a left. But is there any, like, treasures? That's a big treasure chest. Holy crap, look at this. I'm afraid to go for it, but I want to go for it, too. Is it a mimic? It's a colossal cannon box. Oh, gosh. Um, Hopefully, they don't have, like, death or whatever it's called. Can I do an assassin stab, actually? No, nah, it didn't work. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's just go with Flame Slash. Ooh, 50. Uh, at least there's not like an any instant kill moves, because that would just be a really bad sign of a good time. Zam should do pretty good. Jade. Let's try Thunder Thrust. <laughs> Yo! Dang, she is just doing a great job. She is totally on point. Can, I, can we go two for two? Why is this so good? Two for two, let's go. This box reckoning with a few bad crits. Dude, okay. Jade is definitely killing it right now. Um, and we're gonna kill this thing too. But dang, that was insane. I've never seen like I usually always miss that attack, dude. Uh let's just go with the attack. Yeah, my winning party right now. Dude, I love this party. It seems like it's very, very well balanced. Um, because, again, you have very good offensive. Like, you have, like, good offensive, like, between Eric, Jade, and um, Luminary, of course. Eric is really good for, like, single targets, but Jade kind of does a little bit of both. And Rab is pretty good for healing and destructive, too. J <laughs> Jade reminds me of Jackie Chan's knees. Yeah, I can see that, dude. I can kind of see that. I only made uh, one more switch later in Act 2 and 3. I mean, one of the things I love about this game, though, dude, is that, um, again, everybody levels up with you, you know? So, like, let's say, like, down the road, if one character is very well suitable for, like, a different fight or something like that, I don't have to worry about grinding them up to get them higher level. They just grow with you naturally. That's the best way to go about it, because, like, um, unfortunately, Persona 4, Golden, one of my favorite games of all time, it doesn't have that, so when you do, you know, get a character, you want to make sure you have, like, a well-balanced team and team that you like. Because, unfortunately, if you don't use them, they're not going to grow any levels. Uh, I don't know if I should fight that. I don't know if I should fight that. I mean, we got pretty lucky with that Colossal Cannon Box, so I don't want to have to worry about using up all my luck for everything else. <clears throat> Did you have a funny space for your teddy poster, poster print? Um, so, no, but I do have a, I have a good reason why. One, um, space, I could probably find space for it, oh, but I want a frame or something for it this first. I gotta find a frame or something. That reminds me, I need to send you out your memory card, too. Your PS1 memory card, I still need to do that, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, dude, we gotta frame that stuff. That, like, again, it's just so cool, man, we gotta send it, frame it, dude. Ooh! It looks like one of those old school portals. Like, not from Portal Portal, but like portals from Dragon Quest portals. Let's go. DQM, baby. DQM. Is it a Venus flytrap? Watch out. It's looking this way. So, this thing has been luring folks in here it's so can have them for dinner, eh? I think we can do this. I think we can do this, guys. Careful. I'm just gonna look at the pretty light. Let's go. Wait, what? Wait, what? Bop. We need to run right now. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how they do post-game for this game. Follow the path that has opened up and search for a way to the other side. Alright, sounds good. We can totally do that. What is that? 
that like rocks? Yeah, it's rocks. Oh, it's a it's a tablature. What's this? And why is it being smashed to pieces? It's a message. It seems to have been written by the person who discovered the mural. Interesting. I saw one of the four characters is an old man with a ton of luggage. No one knows. <laughs> Sand, I, I really appreciate that you point out some of the things that make a lot of sense when you think about it, how it doesn't make sense, but you're like, yeah, why is nobody helping him? Like, why is the Luminary not helping? That's his grandpa. That's hilarious. I never thought of that, dude. But this was how people had been drawn here, how the town had grown great. But now I see that it is evil. That it lures the greedy. It's still in the background, just chilling. So that it might feast that is interesting. On souls. And those too pure of heart to tempt with greed, it lures through pity. <gasps> the little lost girl, Dora. Wait, so Dora's a ghost? So this whole thing was just some elaborate trap? Wow. Well, that's just great. I did not see that coming of anything. That is insane. I think it's time to get out. But I mean, here, don't you? It's kind of like Dragon Quest to do that sort of thing. Cuz like Dragon Quest is really interesting and great with the storytelling and kind of throwing you curveballs. I can already see there's probably a boss fight right before we leave this place. It's not going to be that easy, is it? We got to get ready for a fight, no doubt. So oh, the I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that was actually the same um, crack. I think she's right, you know. This could be our way out of here. <laughs> Either we're gonna fight it, or we're just gonna book it and get the hell out of here. <laughs> the luminary is just like, um, all right. I'll follow suit. I'll follow suit. I still need to decide when I'm going to stream after Dragon Quest XI. There's plenty of options for sure. I'll probably have to look through my catalog and see what like big games that I haven't streamed yet or played. Well, I've made more graceful entrances. Is everybody okay? Dude, seriously, such a twist. And I also love how they're not afraid of tackling some really big topics or just really big plots in the story. Dragon Quest has always like been like that. Like they're not afraid to like have people die in the story. We have to let everyone know the truth about the mural. Come on, let's get back to the village. But we still need the key around her neck. We still need the key around her neck, boys. Go back to the village and tell everybody the truth about the mural. I wonder if they know. I wonder if they already know about the truth, though, about the mural, you know? I wonder. Well, look who it is. Of course, it's Dora. Yeah. But what if she's just an apparition of the mural itself? I haven't heard rumors about the mural. <laughs> yes, it's true, it's true. The big painting cured me. All I had to do was look at it. All I had to do was look at it. It will do the same for you, I'm sure. I feel like that's not how it works, but all right, all right. Well, I suppose I'd better go and take a look right away then. <laughs> Thank you, young lady. <clears throat> <laughs> oh man! <clears throat> I haven't thought about that at show forever. Customer, huh? Young <clears throat> Another lamb to the slaughter, more like. Ooh, Savaldo coming in with those burns. You need some aloe vera with that? But how? I had you in my clutches. You should be part of my masterpiece by now. Plot armor. You've lured your last Plot armor. Yo, Dark Rising, dude, thank you so much for the raid, dude. How was, um, 
Dude, definitely appreciate that. What were you streaming, dude? Wait, no, I think I remember. Um, it was Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, right? Dude, I actually really enjoyed that game, but how are you doing, man? It's been a while since we talked. It's good to see your awesome face. Give the dude a quick shout out. Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 Remix. Dude, such a good collection. ATM, please play that soon, dude. Because, I, again, it's such a good collection, man. Come on, there's no point playing innocent anymore. Just let everyone go, will you? What? Wait, let me check my eyes for a second. For real? Yo, Dark Rising. Hey, well, welcome, dude. It's great to see you as well, man. Hope you're doing well, dude. Is she high? I don't know, man. I think she's either... I think she's just possessed at this point. I mean, she's got some dark mojo going on. I just started Terra's playthrough on Birth by Sleep Final Mix. Dude, awesome. Um... I think Terra was actually one of my more favorite ones because I liked his play style because I just like brute strength. And I think it was actually the first one I did to begin with. Hopefully my rate... <laughs> dude, no, like, it looks like it went through just fine because I got the notification. And it was actually two, but dude, thank you so much for the raid, dude. The green herbs in this game, sheesh. Yeah, those are great medicinal herbs, right? But dude, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Definitely appreciate your support, man. It's good to see you streaming again, man. Who do you mean exactly? Have you played this game by, uh, by the way, Dark Rising? She could teleport too? Well, I, so Holy one, crap. Didn't intend to let her get away with this. We gotta go back to the mural. We also gotta steal the key, so let's do it. Alright, guys. Let's do it to it. Um, you know what? I mean, the only one who has kind of low SP is Rap. I think we're fine. I mean, considering that we took out that liquid metal slime in the mural, I think we're actually pretty good. Never played any of them. Dude, they're such good classics. Like, um, and this is actually a really good addition to the franchise back in, like, 2017. If you like turn-based RPG games with great music, great story, great characters, and great character dynamics, this is definitely a good game I'd recommend, dude. Um, so far, I believe, like, we're... Like, 20 hours in, and dude, I'm loving every second of it. It's such a good game. I probably should have saved, but why not? This game does auto saves, which is also fantastic. Um, I still love this party, so we're going to keep it, because I think it's working out really well for us. The only thing that kind of, like, takes some to, like time to get used to is the, um, like, the dub voice acting, because it's, like, very British and, like, that very, like, accent. But it, it gets a little bit easier as you play. I really want to attempt to, like, fight some of these guys and get some more liquid metal slimes, but I feel like that's a little bit overkill. Um, I feel like it'd be a little bit overkill. Plus, the drop rates are probably pretty rough. Yo, dude, Dark, thank you so much for the tier 1 for 7 months, dude. Dude, damn, time flies by so much, but dude, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub, dude. You're, you're too kind to me. I greatly appreciate you, man. Hopefully you had a really good stream with Kingdom Hearts Forbidden Memories. For, for, forbidden, no, not Forbidden Memories. <laughs> Birth by Sleep, I'm sorry. I guess I was thinking of that old school Yu-Gi-Oh game, but dude, thank you so much. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna avoid this guy because this looks like Machamp's older brother that you don't wanna mess with. He like went to like an alternative high school from like dist disturbing like the peace, the regular high school. Bless you, Dark. I didn't realize he's seen... Oh, I'm just kidding. An eerie echo of voices echo from afar. What do the echoes say? Ha 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 ha! Ah, there you are. Such pretty little splashes of color. And so kind of you, this isn't my world. Now that the canvas has been prepared, let the brutal astrophery of battle commence. I love how we escaped it, only to come back and just fight it. So we can totally do this. I think we can win. I think we can win. I mean, it's just a flower. We just gotta set it on fire, right? Like, that's just, like, the best way to go about it. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Okay. We are gonna do it. Thought I heard a kitten. We're at the lower levels now. 
I wonder if I can go back into the mural after we do this event because, again, your boy would not mind fighting some more liquid metal slimes because those guys are pretty, pretty good experience if I do say so myself. Interesting. But I'm sure there's also going to be other places too. This is pretty trippy, not going to lie. Alright, so I gotta go over here. I'm gonna head on because I'm hungry and I either gotta continue my Digimon Marathon or my Pixar Marathon. Dude, no worries, dude. Thank you again so much for the raid and dude, thank you so much for the sub as well, dude. Have a great rest of your night and dude, get some good, tasty, healthy, nutritious food and I'll hopefully see you in your next stream, dude. Again, thank you so much, Dark. Have a great one, my dude. Wait, actually, we got a new shield, right? So, is it actually pretty good? Uh, I mean, block chance is down a little bit, but the... The other benefits are actually pretty good, so we're going to switch it out. Uh, let's head down here as well. I've actually started um, playing the Digimon Cyber Sleuth game after watching you stream it, dude. And it's actually really fun. It reminds me a lot of... Um, I don't know why, but it gives me a ton of like Pokemon Coliseum vibes, and that's not a bad thing. Like Honestly, it's actually kind of got me more curious about the Digimon franchise to begin with. Okay, so I think we're heading the right direction. There's even War Griffins, too. This place reminds me of, like, the reverse world from Pokemon Platinum. So we're gonna go... Yeah, we're gonna go up. Well, I should say down here, I should say. What do you think about streaming uh, tomorrow afternoon stream? Uh, it really depends, man. If it does happen tomorrow, uh, probably Mario Maker and... Uh, ooh, a Mini Metal. Hell yeah. Uh, probably Mario Maker and or a little bit of Among Us. Just because I feel like those streams are really good for, like, you know, just doing, like, you know, some very interactive games with the viewers. Um, but for the afternoon stream, like, at this point, it'll probably be uh, XD Gale of Darkness. So I do want to make sure we get through that game, too. Because, again, it just seems something I'd like, I want to finish up at some point. Because I never played it the first time around. Like, I played a little bit of it, but not nearly as much as I am right now. All right, so I think we're heading in the right direction. Oh, the mud dolls. Yeah, this seems like we're heading in the right direction just based on what I'm seeing here. The reason why I say I don't know if the afternoon stream is going to be happening is just because, um, so during the afternoon streams, what I actually end up having to do is, um, have my, I usually have my wife, like, take the dog into, like, a different room or something like that to avoid the dog from like barking continuously. But uh, the wife got a job, um, so she has to go inside and like do some like training and signing some paperwork so she won't be home during that time frame, most likely. So I don't know if you guys want to hear an ear splitting bark the entire time. So we're gonna have to see what happens on that one, you know? Uh, I think we go down, geez, this is a really long pathway, like for real. We're gonna go up here. Okay, so I think we're heading in the right direction. I think we're making progress. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, we're definitely making progress. There's also some pretty big monsters over here, but we're gonna avoid them. We're just gonna take this. Because everybody needs a piece of even cloth. Ooh, they gave us even a safe slot spot right here. That's awesome. I mean, honestly, you gotta give it to this game. They definitely do a good job of just making sure you feel like you're able to take care of certain things, you know? <clears throat> Alright, let's do it, guys. Team is good to go. We are definitely on the right path. <clears throat> Alright, Dora. Let's go. Here we go. I kind of want to know what's going to happen, dude. I mean, seems like some pretty cool stuff could happen, but I'm not 100% sure, dude. Definitely not 100% sure. Is this, like, better or worse than a Matarame fight? Dora in a gray? I don't get it. 
don't get it. The public wants to know. Hopefully the public gets an answer soon. Whoa. Huh. Worship the woman who lured poor huh. innocent people into a trap so she could turn them into paintings? Not likely. Are you in the 3DS Mario World? Are you talking about um the new one for Switch with the Bowser's Theory thing? But I'm still debating on it, actually. Um the reason why that I'm saying that, because I already have the Wii U version, and it was a good game, but I'm still on the fence. I'll have to see if the extra content is worth the justification of spending 60 bucks on the game. So I'm still definitely up in the air for that one. No extra content in the 3D world. So, like, the only extra content you're getting is the Bowser's Fury thing. So, to me, it's basically like, Al uh, Metallic, do you want to spend $60 to play the new part of Bowser's Fury? Which, I don't know. <clears throat> and the thing is, knowing how Mario and Nintendo are, like, it'll never go on sale. So, I'm not 100% sure, dude. I'm still debating. Man, Bob Ross needs to teach her some manners with painting. Not worth it if you play the Wii U version. However, for us who've never played it, this is a brand new mainline Mario game. True. But I mean, the thing is, I just hate on how bad the Wii U turned out. I love the Wii U. The gamepad is pretty comfortable, the virtual console's amazing. And some of the good, good games on the Wii U and the remakes are just top tier. Again, we got Wind Waker for it. Never played it, but I love 2D. Oh, it's a, like, um, it was a great game, not gonna lie, but, like, I'm just not down to paying $60 for another copy of the game. No, like, I think a lot of people are actually confused as actually, um, a new Wii or just a Wii add-on. I would just like to get to play the multiplayer Metallic and Battles. For real, for real. So many good things you can do with that game, too. Especially if, like, the online support is really good. It'd be a lot of fun, for sure. You promised me no red... You promised me no red riding hood. Don't worry, Circus. Circus, she is not in this fight. This is just the boys. This is just the good crew. Let's go. Uh, let's see how lucky we can really get. Oh, come on. I was about to say three for three would be amazing. Um, Eric's gonna use... Can she actually fall asleep? Is sleep even a thing? No. 45. Oh, she heals? What? That's insane. Uh, still streaming and have the stream muted. Did anyone guide the raid yet? No, nobody's guided the raid just yet, Tyler. Nobody has guided it just yet. Okay, so we're going to focus on... So Nick Vinley reduces... The... Yeah, we're going to go with this. Hopefully she's not immune to it. Yes. All right, cool. So he's back up. Go with sleeper hit. Whoa, that damage was significantly different. Jeez, she hits hard. But we're gonna hit harder back, right, boys? So I'm not gonna go with Thunder Thrust because I get it, it doesn't hit too often, but again with the defensive weakness, we're definitely gonna go with the multi thrust. <laughs> me? Alright, I'm gonna have to go through on Twitch and see if I can find me with the happy face. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we can definitely give you the raid, Tyler, for sure. Absolutely, dude. It'll probably happen in the next 12 or so minutes, so uh, make sure you're prepared, my dude. But thank you so much for redeeming that, dude. Definitely appreciate that. All right, so Metallic, what are you going to be doing here today? I could try putting it to sleep with Snooze, but Eric just went. That's all good. Uh, we'll go with Flame Slash. 60 is not too bad. Um, Eric could benefit from some healing. Ooh, he can drain magic? That is so cool. Like, I like how Rab can both do drain magic and also give magic to other people, which is really nice. Uh, Metallic is still doing pretty good. We're going to go with Flame Slash again. Oh, it's the boy, the Wonder Lad Eric. So good. Captures Metallic's heart. Ooh, crap. Jeez. I mean, at least... Jeez, oh, Jay's got hit by a crit. So, her defense is still pretty low, right? What's up, ATM? What's up, my dude? He gains his ability back. Uh, why would why would Metallic go after Dora instead of Jade? This makes no sense to me. 
Um, I don't really know how to uh, cure infatuation. I don't think I have any items for it. I don't. Okay, that's fine. Sleeper hit. She's almost already dead, too, so I'm actually not too concerned. Bro! You don't hit Eric. Again, lowering defense and using multi thrust with Jade is just so good. And at least Metallic is no longer infatuated, too. Eric can prevent from using abilities. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, I'll go with Right as Rain because the residual healing is really nice, too. But what's up, ATM? I am super curious to see what you're going to say. Can we finish it off? I think this will be the last hit. No. Wait, Dodge already dropped from uh, 0 0.078 cents to 0.55. And then we watch somebody who invested. What? Jeez, that is crazy. Again, that's why... That's why you typically don't do that. Um, because, again, especially with like what the investing platforms are doing, it's, it's crazy. This will finish it off for sure. Really? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Doran Gray is defeated. Each party member gains 6,700 experience points and 5,500 gold coins. Let's go. Metallic is now level 30. Borer heal. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Eric's now level 30. Five skill points. Jade well. is level 30. Five skill points. This one guy is probably over 1 million with the... Wait, what? Uh, this guy has probably over 1 million with a wealth manager company all in EFT. So the 7,300 is nothing but fun money to him. Yeah, probably. I mean, I feel like with most people, especially those who know how to like, do investment stuff like that, you pretty much invest with money you're not too upset with losing, you know? That's kind of like how I started, kind of like slowly getting into it. Um, but it's definitely been very interesting. Veronica's level is a 30 as well. Unfortunately, Little Red Riding Hood has been mentioned, Circus. Sorry about that. Uh, we're not going to use the skill points. I usually do the skill points kind of like either during the like beginning of the stream or just after it. But it's just crazy to see what's happening to the stock market right now. It's just really insane. Mordagon. Where to take him out? Where to take him out? I love seeing it being a part of it. It's history. It kind of is, dude. It really is. It really is if you think about it. Because, again, um, what happened to GameStop doesn't happen everywhere else. Like, I think it almost happened, like, a few times. Do we actually get the fighter again? Because I want a more challenging fight. You have to tell us more about Mordigan. <laughs> you will learn more soon enough. Master, may these unsightly souls be cursed. And may you live forevermore. Ba -ba Let's go. She's upset that she just lost, so it's all good. But I think that liquid slime did way more work than I thought. Finally, we're getting close. Wait. We know that he corrupted an ancient kingdom by possessing one of its most powerful people. Could now what be the ruins of that kingdom? Rap is pretty good at putting two and two together, honestly. I want him to live forever. Is that what Mordigan wants? Ooh, the key to the castle. Nothing else will be able to open a door or two we couldn't before. Because I believe that symbol, the key is like. Like, handle is like the same as a castle. Let's go, it's a magic well, key, too. There's a nice wee bonus for our troubles, eh? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm about ready to leave this accursed place. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. That is awesome. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I mean, we had a kind of a slow start to the stream, but I'm actually really happy with the overall progress that we made to it, especially with getting the key. Because that should be able to get us into the castle into Silvenheim and be able to kind of, like, go forward. <laughs> we brought back everybody, and they all have, like, very similar hairstyles to people we've seen in the floor. We saved the day again. Best friends what for life. Happening, please? So many people are coming out of the ruins. Is the mural gone? Ooh. 
It's all gone. You have done something to our mural. Where is it? Tell me. It's all gone, bro. We're free. We're back in the real world. Thank Crikey for that. <laughs> Thank Crikey for that. The real world? What is he talking about, please? No, you are lying. The mural did all these terrible things? If this is true, then we owe you a great debt, friends. Come, you must stay at our inn again this evening. <laughs> Free of charge, of course. I love how like that's his like number one selling point. I'll let you stay at my inn, free of charge, my friend, for saving the entire village. I mean, kind of did that. We're kind of, we're kind of just a little bit of a big deal. You're kind of a big deal here, guys. I trust you had a restful sleep. Please come again. I mean. If you always keep on letting a stay here for free, then absolutely. However, if you're starting to like kind of like increase the market demand, unfortunately, I can't really do that. I can't really do that. But dang, what a turnaround! What an interesting overall plot in the mural thing too. You're leaving already? I must thank you before you go. You have saved our town. <laughs> it's always about the money, the money. He just wants the money, money. Goodbye to the home of the fortune bringing mural, and hello to the town of the mural that swallows humans whole. <laughs> Tourists love scary stories. Now I must go. I have a fresh batch of replica murals. <laughs> So he's going into the business of counterfeiting? Why? I feel like that's not the best idea in venture, but again, I don't know how the copyright system works in this game. They certainly know how to spin a set back into a sale around these parts, eh? We'd better be putting the Ooh, that's that's forward. true. Why don't we get out there and see what that magic I mean, for what this place is known for, maybe I should get my new equipment from here yet. I remember seeing a door with the same symbol as the key on it over in Svansrust. It was near that Warrior's Rest Inn. Hmm. Let's not I don't remember that place, but we can definitely check it out. And I can open the Red Door scattered around. Ooh! I like that. I really do. So we definitely have to check it out. Rab's right. We need to get moving. I don't know how Mordigan's planning on achieving eternal life. But I know one thing. We're going to stop him. It seems like what he might be doing, based on like the content of the story so far, I wonder if he's gonna like try to steal the power of the tree of light or something for the immortality plan. To me that seems like it kinda makes the most sense in like how to make it work. This is run by a sh kid. Let's go. Special armor. What does he got here? So I mean the light shield is not as good as a platinum shield, that's kinda good to know. Steel shield is not worth it for that. Steel TR can actually be pretty good for, I guess, the other two that I'm not really using too much. Mm. Silver Curris. Ooh, that could actually be pretty good for both Silvaldo, Eric, and Svan or Luminary. So I might have to come back here at some point. But unfortunately, we have to end the stream. But again, special shout out to Macasserole ATM for also helping us getting out of that jam. So I definitely appreciate you, ATM. You are always welcomed and appreciated in the stream, and I greatly appreciate you. Let's head to the save point. But I wonder if that's also going to include one of the red doors um, that we saw back in Cobblestone. I give this current team until they act where I switch out Jade for blank, who we haven't seen yet. It's an honor to be here. Dude, it's an honor to have you here, man. The mutual bro of friendship and appreciation is always respecting this place, man. But yeah, like, I just noticed, like, when I was looking at the equip stuff for the shop, I realized there's one slot that's not fulfilled. So I'm like, we get somebody else? Which is interesting, because the cover-up doesn't have any more else people besides these guys. So I'm kind of curious and hyped to see who's the next person to be on our team. Um, I'm assuming it's probably, like, a big power person or something like that, because we already have enough magic users. Yeah, we're done with that. Do, 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 do. 
Such good music, I love it. I also actually did check out some of the MIDI soundtrack they did have. Um, Cause like, I know one of the biggest com uh, complaints people had after this was the soundtrack was very uh, MIDI, which is true, but it wasn't that bad, badly done. But I am glad we did get the definitive edition for it. <laughs> we have to have to uh, possibly make per power person, not power off. Again, I don't understand why this does not follow the other one, but it's fine. Um, it, it's fine. I'll figure out something else, like space out or something. But uh, what am I going to be doing after stream? Uh, probably, dude. I'm probably just going to like listen to some videos while I finish up Crystar for the PS4. So that'll be pretty fun. That'll be pretty fun. 280 followers. Congrats, dude. Thank you so much. We finally came so far. No, that's great, man. We're actually at 355 hours, which is still insane. And everybody, thank you so much for the support. I greatly appreciate you all. Aaron1986, it's great to see you as well, dude. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm kind of like, I can't wait to see how far we go with the Dragon Quest stream. Um, so I greatly appreciate you guys always for chilling here. It's so good. One of my favorite stream memes. I mean, between this and Dual Links always being down for maintenance, you got some good fuel for sure. So with that being said, let's get the raid going for Tyler, the can of tea, to be able to show his mark. Because again, he did redeem it, and we want to make sure we honor that. Tyler, the can. It's also kind of funny seeing some of the like things they actually do have for like other people's streamers. Like when I was like typing the information, I was like Ty uh, Taylor Swift semi. So like, wait, what? What? T Swift streams. Let's go. <laughs> um, but yo, everybody, thank you so much for the. Uh, the support I greatly appreciate you guys um, tomorrow's stream may be around the afternoon Pacific time if it doesn't happen I'll alert people in the discord just so people are aware if it does happen or not but we should still be having the one at 9 p.m. Pacific time of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness which will be pretty fun so hopefully we can have a lot of good times there but I'm gonna get this raid going over to Tyler the can of tea aka Tyler um, everybody have a great rest of your night uh, let's get that going Take care. You as well, saying teacher. And dude, thank you so much for being here, dude. It means a lot to me. I greatly appreciate you. Uh, let's uh, get this raid going. Everybody have a great rest of your night. Stay safe. Stay awesome. And, of course, thank Joe Swanson. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Let's get this raid going. Peace.